Hello, welcome to Artie Makes. I'm going to show you how you can make a card using some washi tape. Is that how you say it? Washi tape? Please tell me in the comments if you know. Anyway, all you'll need for this is some tape, scissors, and a piece of card. So the message I'm going to write on my card is thank you. So I folded my card in half that way. And because thank you is two words, I'm going to have my card in a sort of a landscape position. If you wanted to, you could have it portrait but I think your thank would be very, very small and squashed in. But if you wanted to, you could do another uh, word or a, a, a phrase on your card if you wanted to have it portrait. Anyway, let's get back to what we're doing here. So I'm going to use different tape to create my message. And I think it's important to use the same piece of tape for each part of your letter. So you keep each letter made up of the same piece of tape. I think it reads better then, otherwise it could look a little bit jumbled. But as you can see, it's quite straightforward. I'm keeping my letters very, very simple using, um, I'm, I'm, well, I'm kind of, oh, I can't find the end of this bit. This bit I remember when I made this, it took me ages to find the end. Anyway, here we go. Hopefully you won't struggle too much. What I was saying was that I'm keeping my letters quite straight up and down I'm not making them very curved, if you see what I mean. So all my lines are quite straight. They are on diagonals to each other sometimes for that A, but they are straight up and down. There's no bends. So that's why I'm keeping to uppercase letters and to capital letters rather than doing lowercase letters. Imagine doing that A. That would be quite tricky, wouldn't it? Because it's, it's all curvy. So the N, I'm just going to do a straight bit of tape like that. Then I'm going to do a diagonal from the top across like this, snip it off and then do the next bit like that. And that's my N. Now I've not got very much space to do my K so um, I'm going to use a thinner piece of tape. And you can get this kind of tape in loads of different uh, textures, you can get them in different lengths so, and different thicknesses, that's thicknesses is really what I'm trying to say. So you can get all sorts of um, different tape that will make your card, make your message look really rather pretty and original because everyone will look different. The other thing I love about this tape is that you can uh, correct it if you go wrong because it, it peels off quite well. It's not like sellotape which would uh, peel off some of the card as well as you pick it off, you know, you'd get a bit of the, the paper left stuck on the tape, wouldn't you? Whereas this stuff, it's not quite as sticky. Now, here I am doing the capital Y, and this one's quite an easy one. So you just do two diagonal pieces of tape, one shorter than the other. There we go. So the next letter, of course, is an O. That is a trickier letter to do, um, and there's a couple of ways of doing it. I'll show you um, this way with this thin piece of pink tape here. So this is the way I'm kind of doing it in a diamond shape, because I think if I try to make it circular, I'd have to have lots of tiny little bits of the tape, and I think it would look a little bit messy. I think, to me, I think that the best way of doing this sort of design is to keep the lengths of tape as long as you can. So I've done an O like that, but you could make it more square. And I've got an example to show you towards the end. I'm going to end my, with a U and I'm going to use this nice stripy uh, sparkly tape. And if you notice the T, which I started with, is also spi um, stripy, not sparkly. Um, and I think that looks quite nice. Um, quite balanced. It would also have looked quite nice if I'd used all the same tape, but I like how mad and crazy this looks. It's really like I'm shouting, thank you, thank you for my lovely presents, or thank you for the nice message. But there we go, there is my card. Didn't take very long to do, but I think it looks quite special, and I think the person that I'm thanking will appreciate it too. You never know, I might get a thank you card back. Right, <laughs> here's some other ones that I've showed you. So, oh, or to show you. This is another one. This, as you can see, I've made a more square O shape. It's more rectangular, actually, isn't it? 
but I've done them all on different coloured paper, I've done them with different tapes and I think they all look quite nice and they're perfect for thanking someone after Christmas or your birthday or another celebration. Where someone's done something nice for you, why don't you have a go at making some? I need to say thank you for watching this video. Please like it, subscribe to the channel and come back for some more arty makes really soon. Take care, bye bye.